This is uh, another one of my pickups. This is Deadpool 2, the super duper cut. Um, I got this from um, Music Magpie. Um, similar to how, um, same place where I, um, I got um, DC's Ledger of Tomorrow Season 1 from. Again, they were doing a deal where if you use the, like, this cold, you got a 10% discount off the cold. So I got this for just for roughly about £2.30, which is a perfect, which for me to actually is a good price. I mean, I um, when it came out new, it was maybe about 12 15 quid. I'm not um can't remember um sure sure about um I have the first one as you can see this one actually is new because I bought this in the sale but I haven't um I have watched this obviously because I saw it in the cinema but um I haven't watched it on since so I've now I've got the first and the sequel um what I do like about the case is obviously it it's usually Blu-ray cases are usually blue. Sometimes they can be black or even green if you're extra like it, but this is the first one I have that's that's actually red, so that's already unique already. Um, it comes on two discs. Um, as this has been being second hand, obviously this is not going to come with the digital code. Sometimes you can be very lucky, and it, whether it's with Blu-rays or video games, and then and then no one's touched um, the actual code. One of my games that I had on the Xbox One, um, I it came with um, a fourteen day Xbox Gold cold, and I thought myself, you know, I'll try it out. Obviously, the game being second hand, the cold still worked, which 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 was very surprising. I mean, and I remember years ago when I um, I bought the Star Trek, um, um, the J J Abrams one, the, the right the first the very first movie, and it was a three disc um box set and it that came with a digital copy and then the box was a little bit battered and then it came with, and then there was a digital code so i tried it out i mean the actual believe it or not the, the digital code actually worked so sometimes you can be fortunate sometimes you can't be but to me if, if, the, if the digital code is there and it's working it's a bonus if it isn't there then you know i mean as long as i've got the, the actual film which which is what which is what counts and i got it at a really good price so as I said before, we've got that. So I used, so I got the card and got, and got it cheaper. And um, yeah, um, I remember again. I remember seeing this in the cinema. Um, I did think it was funny, but and there is a um X Men joke in it. Where, um, where X Men scene, which I couldn't believe that they actually did, which I won't spoil just in case you haven't watched it. But it was, but people who have watched it will know what I'm talking about. That they well, it was a bit of a surprise. We're breaking the four four. Which which was kind of cool. Now apparently this does come with two versions of the film. Apparently it comes with the theatrical cut and the director's cut. So this will be worthwhile me watching it again because obviously the one I saw in the cinema was the theatrical cut. Not that I would remember exactly what happened, so I could tell the difference. But you know that gives you the incentive to watch it again. Um, the extras it says it includes a huge load of Blu-ray extras. It says here, gag reel, deleted, extended scenes, until your face hurts at takes. Well, sorry, until your face hurts at takes. The most important X-Force member, Deadpool family values cast of characters. David Lynch, not Lynch, <laughs> so I, I get that, directing Deadpool 2. Audio commentary by Ryan Reynolds, David Lynch, Rent Reese, and Paul Warnick. And that's only for the theatrical version only. Deadpool's um, Fun Sack 2, and according to this, so much more extras. Now, I do know that they did release in a cinema, or I don't know if it's came out on Blu ray, um, they did release a special Christmas. Um, cut version of Deadpool 2 featuring um, the actor um, Fred Savage, which I've never seen. And I don't know if it's available to buy or not, so that's something that I have to, I'll have to look, look, look into. So, as you can see, we've got the, you've got the, the two Blu-ray discs. 
I think it's quite clear. It's the, the only um, thing that's really funny about about this is that the way that they've written the actual um, titles in there, it it kind of reminds me of, of when you of um, not that I've ever bought bought any right, mind you, of those fate of when people will write um, the title of those uh, when people get um, pirated Blu-rays and then they write the name of the actual movie on the top of the disc. So I suppose that's the look that they were kind of going for, right? But that's kind of but but that is kind of funny. So it kind of at first at first glance it makes it look like a pirated disc. Um, as I as I said before, there's no digital copy, which is totally fine. So now I've got my um um the first I've got I've got, I've got the first and now the sequel in my collection. So this is kind of great. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this again. Maybe I might like it a little bit more. But as I said, I just found the jokes in the first one a lot funnier because it was. You, you, you didn't kind of know what to kind of expect but so, but it doesn't mean that the second one wasn't a good movie because it was funny but um me i loved the first one more i know there's some people that prefer maybe like both of them equally or, or and i've not i know some people that like the second one more but you know i mean if i did if i didn't like it i wouldn't have i wouldn't have um both to have got got this but yeah i'm really glad i've kind of um got this and then ryan reynolds right was is great in the role as dead as deadpool so you know i'm looking forward to the third one when that's um when that's finally made and eventually released. So anyway, I mean I hope um people really enjoyed this video. Um feel free to share and to like this video. Also, if you haven't, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Food reviews, um drinks, um video game playthroughs. I'm I'm trying to basically um, keep my channel fresh by doing different things. Also, v vlogs as well. Hopefully, maybe traveling to different areas. I mean, and maybe historical areas in my like in my local town. Obviously, people hopefully might find that interesting. So it's just a, for me on my channel. I just want to um. I don't want to be keep stale and just keep to one thing. I want. I just want to keep things. You know, kind of fresh, freshened up. So um, there's a lot of variety. For everybody, if you're not into one particular thing, there's other things that you you might find interesting on my channel. So yeah, again, um, feel free to subscribe. Anyway, um, take care. Bye for now, and stay safe.